Hi, my name is Ilza Zilkin and I'm the author of Bloom Optimist. I'm sitting here today doing another entry and this one is the top 10 retarded questions Hannah gets on a daily basis. And you have to understand in interagency conflict, she also got tagged um, and uh, it's, it's a form of assault and, and there's nothing much I can do about it because if they try to remove it, it can cost me my life. And I'm actually trying to do the Sun collection. So of the 10 top most retarded questions of the day that she gets is, why is she doing this now? She has never stopped. Uh, we are technically under the label of Turkologist. We are specialists um, and we want our history. Uh, my brother did the release in 1998 um via all the networks um i did kanata means wings in 2013 even ottoman is our history so uh that was done in 2009 so <clears throat> when people say why is she doing this now it's actually very offensive um hannah hasn't left uh mark them in about 20 years uh she has my moved around several times but uh, her main address is still Markham or Mark Them, Ontario. Why isn't she following anyone? Um, she outranks everybody um, in her mind, at least. And that is the key. So she doesn't follow anybody. Why isn't she screaming? Um, it's almost like asking the Queen of England, why isn't she screaming that Buckingham Palace is hers? There's nothing to scream about. Um, and when it's such a large project... When you start screaming your head off, it actually poses more of a danger. Um, it's uh, security uh, maneuvering. Why hasn't she moved again? And um, this is her home for the last 20 years and it's linked to copyright. It's linked to a lot of things. It's for the protection of, um, you know, her herself as well. Uh, because if all of a sudden she buys a mansion, God forbid, um, we're going to get uh, whoever's turn it is out there in Asia somewhere screaming bloody murder. And sometimes it's not worth that headache, even though she is looking for an, a property in another property in Markham, Ontario, um, which is near uh, Warden and Highway 7. If she stole it, why isn't she confessing? Um, you can't steal material like this. You would have to have... Uh, um, an absolute uh, genius brain to be able to house uh, years of work. So there's nothing to steal. Uh, she's the one with the sources and uh, that's the end of it. Um, so why isn't she following Lolly? Hannah doesn't even know who Lolly is. And at this particular time, she heard the word Lolly so many times. She's starting to wonder about the psychology of those who are rattling in her head uh, they're obsessed with something brown i think that is called a lolly i don't know what a lolly is for me a lolly is a lollipop and that's the end of it why isn't she writing uh, she is not writing because um the boys club is extremely disrespectful at this particular time uh, we are under the constitutional right uh, of freedom of speech um, the, you know, to tag someone or injure someone, um, and you've reported to, to every single security agency mean, means the boys are just protecting their position, which is good for them, um, as they protect our countries. It's just, it would be nice, uh, if at that particular time in history, if they had given her a little bit of money so she can enforce some security instead of getting cut in two. So, uh, that's the end of it. Why is she handing out documents? Because she's actually working. She's um, a hard worker um, and she's trying to finish the real Evolve. She doesn't like lazy like uh, some of these people. Why doesn't she let actors do their job? They can do their job uh, by all means. If as long as they pay Hannah, they're more than welcome to credit uh, Hannah's work and uh, do whatever they like. Hannah also asked permission, something these guys didn't do. So uh, she already alerted the proper authorities uh, to keep an eye on her, even at the municipal le level, which is the police. Uh, this was uh, over a decade ago, years ago. 
um, why is she lying so much? This is actually based off a true story. There is no lying. There is a little bit of marketing, but there is no lying in this. There, this is based off a true story. Um, even Hannah's injuries, for example, I'm gonna open it up. Even Hannah's injuries, all of these are real. Um, this was uh, attempted murder uh, because when you're blessed, um, the skies also brings its perfect counter um, of evil onto earth. And she actually really believes that because it's no different than hot or cold or two, any, any two uh, opposing um, opposing synonyms like uh, soft and hard and stuff like that. So um, this is based off a true story and she believes her injuries are due to her being blessed. Um, now, she wasn't supposed to live, which is uh, a very fortunate thing that she is living. This is for humanity. Um, but from 1 to 10, these are the regular questions she has today. Now, um, in building the real Evolve, they have done their own thing, which is good for them. But uh, it's just a reminder that this these things are legally owned and it's a respect thing to womb. Um, you know... As she studies the the boys club it's uh, very very disrespectful what has happened to a female um, historically so uh, d you know we're talking about male elders this is a female elder now that has come to earth and I think uh, in the long run it's to balance earth because earth is missing a balanced component for betterment and she has studied that balance component for years whether it's black females that are always crushed or whether it's hannah it's just the psychology of their entertainment and the psychology of the hornet's nest and the psychology of crushing so much you don't realize how detrimental and harming you are to also the environment when you crush female you also crush the environment it goes hand in hand so um you know only to find out like all the female ceos don't really exist so um you know we can't better the world without pushing women's rights without pushing some type of empowerment onto females and i think this is where we're the real struggle is, I mean, you, the minute you get close to um, this information coming out, this is what you get. It's not a good thing. Uh, what if the world was perfect? How would you handle it? Um, that is the key. And uh, that is what Hannah wrote about years ago. Uh, understanding uh, management, understanding time, understanding existence so by supporting the real evolve you get to see the authentic versus um just uh illuminati's little group stealing a an environmental book and flipping it to feathers you see the actual quality of the work and that is the key thing so thank you and have a good day